Saturday morning here. Dominic's already been at it. I'm just showing up for the glory. And uh, this is his uh, Volkswagen buggy rail, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, 72 Volkswagen bus transmission and engine. We actually just pulled the engine out. Super simple. And like I said, when I showed up, he already had everything disconnected except two bolts. It was great. So super easy removal. Pull the back cage off, full engine. Start fitting parts on new engine, which we are going to install a 2003 2.2 .2 liter Ecotec out of a Pontiac Grand Am. And you might ask why? We don't care. We're doing it for the fun. This should be a fantastic little build, about 60 to 70 more horsepower, bone stock, complete fuel injection tuning system, uh and oh here's dominic oh there he is okay <laughs> as we go the adapter plate is already being installed and we're working away at getting this thing in i would say in another 15 to 20 minutes we should be lining it up on the back of the bell housing wish us luck Hey everybody, just wanted to say uh, while you're watching the sped up footage of what we're working on here, this is my friend Dominic's uh, rail, and uh, for those of you that are following along, um, I just wanted to add in, so you see us put the engine in, take it out a couple times, there was a little bit of fitment issue, we had to uh, put the engine in, try to get it lined up, and then we found that we were hitting the back firewall. the engine back out, cut a hole in it, and put the engine back in, and we found the, the mount kit that came with the adapter plate. Um, we didn't like how the bolts and everything fit, so we brought the bolts from the old uh, Volkswagen engine, and put those in, they fit like a glove, it was a great kit. Uh, and after that, the engine fit in properly, uh, we took a little break in the meantime, and basically put the wiring harness on. Don McDowell prepped the harness. We had very little to do. Just plug in, you know, half a dozen sensors, um, hook up the starter wire to it, and uh, we just loosely mounted everything. He has since uh, gone ahead and mounted everything more permanently. Uh, when it's all said and done, um, you'll see at the end of this video, we go to fire it up. I wish the audio was a little bit better, but uh, just kind of a rough video to get to the ball rolling uh, for the Days of Glory Speedworks and well we got it fired up no problem there was uh, he had put some sea foam in the cylinders and with a little bit of brake clean uh, that's when we fired it up and ran it on uh, still no there was no fuel system hooked up at the time uh, he's got the electric fuel pump and everything hooked up now uh, waiting on a couple of fittings to finish it off cooling systems on you notice at the end we put the radiator up on top of the engine and that worked out really well for a good location spot so he's got that mounted i'll try to include a couple of pictures but there will be a second video to show the vehicle when it's like basically 99 percent complete and we can road test it and drive it a little bit it is minus 25 out right now so i can't say it's going to be a hugely long road test but we'll definitely show you that it's working and working good um i hope you're enjoying what you're seeing and uh follow along uh, we've got a well, like I said we've got the second part of the video coming and uh, yeah I believe in the spring we're gonna do a brake upgrade the brakes are horrible on that thing even with the you know the 50 60 horsepower uh, Volkswagen engine the brakes are still atrocious um, so a nice disc brake upgrade for it uh, we'll show you that uh, probably in the spring here and from there we can keep on going. In the meantime, between that project, I've got uh, my friend Carl's uh, square body short box. Uh, we've got a 3D3 stroker we're building for it. Uh, he's got the frame sand 
glass and painted, uh, doing work on the cab repair now for the rust repair on the rockers and such. And four pans, um, that's coming along pretty nicely. I'll get you some video for you in it, uh, here in the future. As well as uh, my dart in the background, my 67 Dodge dart. We're uh, currently working on getting the quarter panels uh, repaired on it. There's videos for it as well. Um, anyway, uh, this is Dominic's Rail, so enjoy what you, uh, what you see. It's a heck of a nice little project, and this thing moves. It's a heck of a nice little rig. So, have a good day, guys. We will chat with you soon.